Welcome to the tutorial on how to create uh, QR codes on the print together with the registration marks for Vulkan machines to read and then have the machine automatically find the right file. So here we're now in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, we have created our little box here with the cutting and creasing lines. And um, now we need to create the sign cut registration mark. So we have installed the sign cut plugin into Illustrator. And now in the sign cut plugin, we can select our machine. So here we select the Vulcan FC 500. Um, the size always needs to be five millimeters. And we recommend to use page frame and a distance of 10 millimeters from the edge. In addition, here we activate the use QR code and the print QR code file name. So we will have this number also printed on the, uh, on the printout. So uh, we can also manually select the file if necessary. Now when I click create, it will create my four registration marks, which the Vulcan needs to read. And in addition, a QR code with the number below. And uh, with this QR code, it can automatically retrieve the right file. Now, in order to do this, I now export the file to SignCut, which is opening here. So now we have it all in uh, SignCut. And then in order to, uh, to have the file retrieved, we need to create a PLT file instead of sending this data directly to SignCut. So what I'm doing now is uh, switch the connection of the cutter from TCP IP or USB, depending on what I have, to write to file. So I want to create a PLT file instead. Select OK. And then I adjust all my output settings as I want them. So um, here I can then uh, select what do I want to do with the different colors. So in this case, um, this color here, I want to use the creasing tool. I can also select my force and speed that I want, uh, which can also be set on the machine. If I deactivate it, it will automatically use the values of the machine. So I'll leave that deactivated so I can adjust them on the machine. And then here the cutting line, which uh, is the red one. Here I select the cutting tool, which are my presets, which I can set here. I can also set all these values manually here. And then when I'm done, when I'm ready, I uh, click on apply, and then cut out. And now it will create my new file, the uh, PLT file. And I save this PLT file uh, in a specific folder, which I can choose. So here I have made a folder named QR. And now I just name the file the same name as I have uh, here, the 021 dot plt it's already in there the file because i did that before so now it's saved and um, now i have the file in this folder now in order to have the qr code automatically recognized i'm now closing sign cut and then i open sign cut again with uh, no file open so it's just this default file that is imported and uh, then I need to reset the connection to my cutter. So I want to set it to TCP IP again. So it will now scan for the devices. It will find my uh, Vulkan flatbed cutter. And now I click on contour cut again. And although I have not opened any file, now I just click scan QR code and select the folder, I just need to do that once. So I'll select the directory where my files are, can be on a network, can be anywhere. Um, the important thing is that it will scan the QR code. Now, when I click on cut out, it will read the first mark. So I need to move my uh, tool number one over the first mark as usual. And uh, then after reading the mark, it will read the QR code, and then it will pull the file from this folder and select the correct file if I have set the correct uh, QR code on the print file. So I'll click cut out and uh, it will start reading.